Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final Brothers Grimm tale of the week, and this story is another short one. And it's it's really a bizarre tale, on its face at least. This is The Rabbit's Bride. There was once a woman who lived with her daughter in a beautiful cabbage garden, and there came a rabbit and ate up all the cabbages. At last said the woman to her daughter, Go into the garden and drive out the rabbit. Shoo! Shoo! said the maiden. Don't eat up all our cabbages, little rabbit. Come, maiden, said the rabbit. Sit on my tail and go with me to my rabbit hutch. But the maiden would not. Another day, back came the rabbit and ate away at the cabbages, until the woman said to her daughter, Go into the garden and drive away the rabbit. Shoo, shoo, said the maiden. Don't eat up all our cabbages, little rabbit. Come, maiden, said the rabbit. Sit on my tail and go with me to my rabbit hutch. But the maiden would not. Again, a third time came back the rabbit, and ate away at the cabbages until the woman said to her daughter, Go into the garden and drive away the rabbit. Shoo, shoo, said the maiden. Don't eat up all our cabbages, little rabbit. Come, maiden, said the rabbit. Sit on my tail and go with me to my rabbit hutch. And then the girl seated herself on the rabbit's tail, and the rabbit took her to his hutch. Now, said he, set to work and cook some bran and cabbage. I'm going to bid the wedding guests. And soon all were collected. Would you like to know who they were? Well, I can only tell you what was told to me. All the hares came, and the crow who was to be the parson to marry them, and the fox for the clerk, and the altar was under the rainbow. But the maiden was sad because she was so lonely. Get up, get up, said the rabbit. The wedding folk are all merry. But the bride wept and said nothing, and the rabbit went away, but soon came back again. Get up, get up, said he. The wedding folk are waiting. But the bride said nothing, and the rabbit went away. Then she made a figure of straw, and dressed it in her own clothes, and gave it a red mouth, and set it to watch the kettle of bran. And then she went home to her mother. Back again came the rabbit, saying, Get up, get up! And he went up and hit the straw figure on the head so that it tumbled down. And the rabbit thought that he had killed his bride. And he went away and was very sad. And that is the brother's grim tale of the rabbit's bride. The story of abduction, forced marriage, and, well, I mean, that's pretty much it, isn't it? This poor girl doesn't realize how deep she's in it until she's deep in it. But she does manage to sneak out at the end. And we learn that even the rabbit can be, well, selfish. This is Dan Scholes for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week... We'll be back with three new tales. As always, thank you so much for listening.